Okay, let us discuss problem number 2.345. So we have to find work done. So let me read the question. It says one mole of certain ideal gas. So this is we have one mole of gas is contained under a bathless piston of a vertical cylinder at temperature T. So we have a cylinder. In this cylinder, there is a bedless piston. So you see there is a piston that is kept over there. And gas inside this is 1 mole. Now that is kept at temperature T. The space over the piston opens into the atmosphere. So this means atmospheric pressure P0 is given to you. What work has to be performed in order to increase the volume isothermally under the piston eta times slowly by raising the piston. So what we are doing is, I think you are able to see this one. We are raising this piston. So this piston has been raised and now this raising is slow. So slowly I am raising that the force externally acting on this uh, is zero. You see uh, acceleration is zero. Slowly raising this means acceleration of this system is zero. So force external that is mass into acceleration that has to be equal to zero. And the final volume, so initial volume let us say V0 you have. And the question says final volume becomes eta times V0 and the temperature remains same because the process is isothermal. So this is the isothermal process. So if the process is isothermal, temperature remains constant. Everybody knows. Now what work has to be performed? So what we have to find? how much work one has to perform from here to here if I want to go from this state to state 2 by slowly raising this piston what is the amount of work I have to perform now let us see let us consider this situation initially this piston let us say was here and now we have moved by a distance x so piston is somewhere here What are the forces that is acting? One force that is acting by external agent that is trying to pull this piston up. Let me ask one question. What is the initial pressure inside this vessel? What will the initial pressure? If the odd pressure is P0, what should be the initial pressure? Inside initial pressure. Of course this will be P0 because if I consider the equilibrium of this piston, so this piston is here. But the forces that is acting, so the force from the up that is acting is P0 into A. From the bottom it should be act P into A. And piston is bedless. So total force is equal to mass into acceleration even it assessed. So total force will be 0. So P0 is equal to P. So inside pressure is simply P0. Now if you are pulling this up, let us say at some time the pressure is P. So pressure basically gets decreased. But the forces that is acting on this one, so you will have from the up, the force will acting is P0 into A are getting from the bottom, the force that is acting is P into A. And system is pulled slowly, so total force has to be zero, so up force F plus P into A, this should be equal to downward force P0 into A. So the force F is P0 minus P into A. Are you getting? Now if somehow I can find P in terms of X, we have done our job. 
Now let us say the process is isothermal. I can also apply PV is equals to NRT. You see number of mole remains constant, R is constant, T is constant. So this means P1 V1 is equals to P2 V2. So what is the initial volume that is the P0 initial volume is V0 pressure is P0. So P0 V0 initially we have this is equals to here I have pressure is P and what will be the volume? So volume will be initial volume is V0 plus let us say area of the piston is A. So V0 plus AX be the final volume. So what is the value of P? So B, P will be P0 V0 divided by V0 plus AX. What I need, I have already explained force is P0 minus P into A. So let us plug the value of P. So we will have P0 minus P0 V0 divided by V0 plus AX into A. So if you do this one, you will have P0 V0 goes cancels out. So you will have P0 AX divided by V0 plus AX into A. So AA you will have A square. So this is the force. Now what will be the work done? So to find out the work done, we have to basically find F dot DX, F into DX integral. So this will give you the total work done. So let us try to find total work done. I know force that is P naught A square X divided by V naught plus A X. This is force into DX. And I have to integrate this one, then I will get the work done total. What is the limit for x? Initial limit is 0. And what should be the final limit? So you see, final volume is eta times v0. So you see, v0 plus ax, that the volume. This should be eta times v0, that the final volume. So from here you can get x. So ax is eta minus 1 into v naught. So x will be eta minus 1 into v naught divided by a. So this is the final limit for x. Eta minus 1 v naught by a. Because I need final volume is should be equal to eta times v naught. So if I plug this value for final limit for x, I think all of you copy, <laughs> copied this one. So let us plug the final volume for x. We will have eta minus 1 v naught divided by a. Now let us do this integration. Now integrating this one is slightly, it looks like complicated. So what I can do is, so let us say, let us put this as x naught. Finally I will put the answer. So 0 to x naught and P naught A square is common, this is a constant and you will have X. Let us take one A inside. So you will have AX divided by V naught plus AX DX. What I am going to do is, I will add V naught and I will add subtract V naught. Why I am doing this, you will soon understand. So now, 0 to X naught P0 into A, here you will have. Now V0 plus AX same, so 1 minus V0 by V0 plus AX, I can write something like this, into DX. Now 0 to X0, P0 A is common, and this is DX minus, this is V0, DX divided by V0 plus AX. And this integration is very easy. So this is P0 into A. This is X0 minus V0. So this is ln V0 plus AX divided by A. You have to divide by the coefficient of A. 
and this from 0 to x naught. So this will be P naught A. X naught minus V naught by A ln when you have X naught this is V naught plus A X naught when you have 0 this becomes V naught so ln A by B that is ln A minus B. Now plug the value of X naught. X naught is V naught eta minus 1 eta minus 1 V naught by A. So this is the value of X naught minus V naught by A ln and this is V naught plus eta minus 1 V naught A A goes out because this A X naught you see divided by A into A multiplied by A so this A goes out I think all of you understand this one divided by V naught are getting. So I will have this A this A goes out so we will have P naught and I can take V naught common so we will have eta minus 1 plus A I have already cancelled and V naught is common so I will simply have ln this is V naught V naught goes out so we will have eta V naught by V so this is simply ln eta. You check yourself whether you are getting same thing or not. Now basically there will be a minus sign. So the final answer, so work done will be P naught V naught eta minus 1 minus ln eta. So, so this is the work performed. If you want to raise the piston by some amount of x so that the final volume becomes eta times initial volume. But the important point we have in this problem is, first thing is, this piston has been moved so that the process is isothermal. This means temperatures remains constant. Now there is no gases that is leaking out from the piston or from the system. So I can also say number of mole is constant through the process. Are you getting? Now next point. If you see, if you are pulling the piston up, the pressure inside this vessel will decrease, pressure inside the cylinder will decrease. So this means, correspondingly, the function, the, the, the force that you are applying to pull the piston is not constant. This force is a variable. And you see, we have here, this force is a variable. You can see, I think, in the previous page. So we have found this pressure, force. This force is not constant, this force is a variable force. This force depends upon x and that is very obvious. Even if you try to pull a piston, try to think, if you try to pull a piston, initially it's easy to pull, but after some time it's very difficult to pull. So the force is variable, so to finding the work done, I have to integrate this equation, force into displacement. Now how to find the force? For that this is given in the question the system has been moved slowly so if the system has been moved slowly this means what this suggests that the total force acting on the piston has to be zero because the piston is massless and it is moved slowly so if I, if I apply these conditions I get the force and if I integrate that force I will get the total work done. Of course, in doing integration, you have to do some mathematics. You have to manipulate the things easily so that integration becomes simple. That is your mathematics. Are you getting or not? Okay, let us go for the next problem.